Yo, what's up? It's your boy DJ Young, Travel from Hot 97. And this is another edition of Different Sundays. And right now, this Sunday show is a different kind of Sunday because right now I have Bayesian superstars in the building. If you don't know what Bayesian means, it means the island of Barbados. And right now, I got the Bayesian superstars in the building that goes by the name of Phantom Dundee, Marsville, and Hyper Sounds. So what's up, fellas? How y'all doing today, man? How you feeling great? You feeling good? Yeah. All right, all right, all right. So we're going to start with Phantom Dundee. Phantom Dundee, man. What's up, man? I actually feeling nice today. I had a great Labor Day and a great Labor Day weekend and a great pre-Labor Day weekend. Okay, okay. So Phantom Dundee, where did you come up with this name, Phantom Dundee? I didn't come up with none. Both of them was given to me along the way on my journey. The first one came from the first studio I went in. I wanted to name myself Fans, and the producer said that can't work. It's too short and it's corny. So then it was like, we can name Tom, and then he stopped. He said, you know what? If you want to name fans, we can work with Phantom. So he actually came up with it. We dropped the S, and we decided to move with the F-A-N instead of the P-H, because the P-H is the guy with the purple tights. Damn me. All right. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so where we, we get done deal from? The third studio I ever went in, Triple E. The, um, I spit a freestyle there in the booth because they put pressure on me. I wanted to do reggae, but everybody was doing hip-hop. So then they put me in and they was like spit saying, oh, I say, no matter what happened, they can always keep it real. At the end of the day, they can call me the Dundee. And then from there, they keep calling me Dundee. So then it was a first and a last name. And it just happened that way. All right, all right, all right. So you're from Barbados, born and raised? Yeah, 100%. So how did you start this whole music thing? I actually fell in love with it when my father used to DJ. I remember this one specific party when I was about five years old. And I had woke up in the morning. And people was crazy laying all through my house, sleeping and stuff like that. I guess they was intoxicated. But my analogy as a youth was then was sleeping. So, I mean, like, to me, it was dumbfounded that so much people could be in my house laying all over the ground. And that and the DJ set was still set up. And he used to have all the records laying out. And then, like, a little later on in life, I asked him about it because I always remembered it. And he was like, that, that impact you? I said, yeah. And then the fact he always was playing music, it was just something in me. I always take people's songs and change the lyrics. So you be singing a song. I sing it too, but I sing it way different lyrics because I make up that in my head. And it just continued along the way. I went to school, and I used to be in the bus on the morning. We used to call it chanting. So you will find fellas chanting against one another and singing other tunes belonging to other people but it was just the competitive spirit and it sort of like a clash how you were getting like the dance hall arena and stuff like that and it just blossomed into when i get to college when i get to college i actually just fell in love with it and said look i done with mechanical engineering music is it all out i left everything behind i mean like my whole certificate i didn't care about it is music i doing and from there was on my trot must bus Talking about. So what was your first song you ever sing? A, di a song called Sunny Rain. Sunny Rain? Yeah. Let me hear it. I can't remember it. I you can't remember it? You. I can't I didn't even land to you. I can't remember it. Oh, man. So I remember it's the name that of the song. Ago. It was that long and the floor. I used to rap back then. Oh, okay. So, if so you it, it wasn't no soca before. It was no, like hip-hop. Right, it was hip-hop then. Mm. Then it developed into the dance hall. The hip-hop, I credit to my lyrical ability to put things together when I sit down and paint. Okay. The dance hall, I more a credit to different vigorous flows All right. whereas no the soca i fall in love with soca by seeing what soca does to people especially mm. women right when, when soca comes on yeah. the way how women is come alive and women that you normally would see on a day that were acts too and they don't even want to say hi you see when little soca come on these women oh good and they're great yeah, yeah. They <laughs> i tell myself no this is saying that i want to be a part of right and back in like 2009 i think that's when i penned my first serious soca and from there, I just keep doing soccer every year, contributing. Right. Until like a year and a half ago, Dougie Slaughter basically stepped to me and was like, you got the potential, we need to take it up a notch. He hit me with the RR, I fell in love with it. In two or three days, I sang back the song. And then like the whole of Trinidad Carnival was just history. Yeah. yeah. Bungie Girl in the same time, because you already know how that went down for right. Carnival. Right, 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 Slaughter right. and Bungie, so... Let me big them up. So big up to Doggy Slaughter and big up to Bungie Garland. So you said the R rhythm. Yeah. And you have a major tune on R rhythm that's doing real great right now. Yeah. Can you sing a piece myself. of the song? I've been drinking the whole day. That is for play. Carnival time a single. Long as a song or short as a jingle. I've been drinking the whole day. 
that is for play. Carnival time are single. Long as a song or short as a jingle. But what happens is sometimes you see women on the road and it's like a little tired. So I say, you know what? I can inspire them. Uh -huh. I can see you tired or you're walking up. Uh -huh. Come here and let me charge you up. Uh -huh. Girl, bend over, let me charge you up. Up, up, ba, 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 I can ba. see you tired or you're walking up. Hey. Come here and let me charge you up. Girl, bend over, let me charge you up. Up, up. up. Up That's what I'm world. talking about. That's what I'm talking about. People, right <laughs> now, Phantom done deal. Thank you, my brother. That's what it is, man. And you know we have a lot more to come. But hold on. We got to go to the next artist right now. Let's go to Marsville. Marsville, what's up, my brother? Yo, see Marsville. Russell, I'm going to tell you. Marsville, where that name come from? My name is Noah Mar. So okay. my friends call me Mar. Right. So quit. So one of these days I was walking down your road. I said, what you say? We're going on Mars. I said, Mars. I said, boy, yo, that's a crow, yeah. My boy see you call yourself so boy Mars. So he started off with Mars because he was doing some R&B. Me and a guy named Android from Barbados. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. this was his Mars at first. So he see a big man who want to own a whole city. So he got like Nashville, name type of thing. So it's Marsville. It's a whole city. He come with a whole camp behind me. <laughs> a big whole team. You know right, what I'm right, right. So you from Barbados too. I love the energy. I love the vibe. So how long you been doing this for, man? Well, from the time I was about five, he's 30 now. From about five years old, I was in I was in competitions before. Right. As a youngster. Right. Yeah. Plus, to my grandfather was part of the Opals, the legendary group in Barbados. Right. Yeah. So it was in my blood. All right. All right. So you started off with soca, hip hop, or reggae. I started off with R and B. But R and B. Yeah. So you could sing. Yes, very much so. All right. So sing a little piece of R and B. Any R and B song you want to sing right now? Let me see how good you are. You fix your makeup just so. I guess you don't know you're beautiful. Wow, that Beijing accent came out completely. <laughs> <laughs> your journey as an artist, how was that for you? Well, it had its ups and downs. Mm. I started off actually with Hyper. Oh, really? Yeah, it had a song named My Boo back in probably like 2005. That was my first hit song in Barbados, wow. which Hyper had a um, Sunshine Girl as well. Okay. I was in a band named Electric, mm -hmm. then the band named Jabir. Then right. we took solo, trying to get back on R&B track. And back and forth, back and forth, do a little bit of reggae. Because you know you're trying to find yourself. Right. Then to realize... I like soca. That is it. You understand? Know yeah, boy. Especially with Al much soca now. Trouble. Look at trouble, boy. I'm telling you. So, Marsville, I, I see lately you having a good year right now. You have a great hit that's coming out right now. What is it called? Bang Bing. It's called Bang Bing. Yes, please. Yeah. You can check it on YouTube. Video there. Live and direct. B A N G B I M. Bang Bing. Marsville. M A R Z V I L L E. Rap store. So, you know you're at Hot 97. So yeah. you know the people that don't know about Marsville, that don't know about Bam Bing, you gotta sing a piece of the song. What? Tell them, Bam Bing, uh. Bam Bing, uh. Bam Bing, uh. Bam Bing, uh. I don't want, I don't want, I don't want Bim, uh. I don't want, I don't want, I don't want You uh. want speed? Uh. You want speed? Uh. You want speed? Uh. Get a speed. Uh. Tell she write it, write it, write it, write it, write it. Rap <laughs> sore. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. I seen you perform <laughs> last week, right? And I see you. You, you got. You got to perform. You have to. They, it's visual, so they got to see what's Marsville all about. You, you have to get up and perform. That, that you got to get up and perform. Jeez. You, you, you got to get up and perform, you, you, man. It's a different you, Sundays, you, man. You, 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 I, I do the dance. The dance way, right? Watch it now. It's do the bam. No, you do the bam. Uh, 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 u
10 years from now, I don't want to see myself just have to depend on um, a promoter to book me as a DJ when I have that talent. Right. So I made that transition now into artists and it was successful. You know, it was received well. Normally, you know, sometimes you're a DJ, you turn to artists. Sometimes you hear, no, I'd rather him DJing right. than singing. But no, the fans kept there because they saw this thing in Hypersounds that I myself didn't even see in myself. So I'm here today. Oh, that's inspiring. Yeah. So what was your first song you ever put out? Uh, my first song was called Sunshine Girl. Yeah. Sunshine Girl. Yeah, I wanted to be different. Everybody was more on the up tempo. I wanted to dedicate myself to the ladies. How does it go? Yeah. You are my sunshine girl, my sunshine girl. From the day you stop and I look into your eyes, girl, you got me hypnotized. It's then that I realize. <laughs> wow, yo, that's what's up. That's what's up. Yeah. So then after moving right along, you just was like, you know what? This is what I want to do. Yeah. And doing a great job, my brother. Yeah. The journey of hyper songs being coming an artist from a transition to a DJ to artist was that hard? DJ and you could play a million and one songs. Right. Being on the stage as an artist, you have to find yourself. You have to learn how to connect with the crowd. You have to learn. You know, there's a lot, a lot of different things other than just having a hit song or just recording a song. So that transition, you know, it was, it was, it was kind of hard at first. But um, within myself, I know what I was looking for. I know where I wanted to see myself. So I just worked within me and my team. And we tried to develop the brand Hypersounds to what it is today. So when you started becoming an artist, right, was it mm -hmm. only soca you was doing? Any dance hall, any hip hop, anything nah, like just that? Soca, just just soca. soca, just soca. So he was like, you know what? Just them melodies. This is what I want to do. Just them melodies. All right. So you <laughs> found love for soca from right off the rock. Yeah. For all those who don't really know about hyper songs, what is one of you think you think in your heart is one of your greatest songs, one of your songs that you love, that you ever produced, you ever wrote? Um, there's so many songs, but um, you know, uh, what I can say that there's there are songs that People tend to love, mm -hmm. but I kind of love all of my songs. But there are songs that that brings out that brings out the the real hype of songs, the passion. You see Which the one passion, is that? And you can see uh, how she like it and Sugar Rush. You have to sing one of your songs right now. Yes, of course. Let's Sugar go. Rush. Girl, you look sweet like sugar. What you put in that waistline? Hey. Only ways in my pressure. Hey. Seeing that sugar wine. The Western girls only calling me. Yep. And of course, you know the how she like it. Set up your face and give me work. Hey. Hold on for me and give me joke. Hey. Keep on your shoes and climb my top. Hey. Cause, Cause I know how I like hey. it. Go down, go, go down, down where you're going. Hey. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about, y'all. I'm telling you, different sons who do it different, man. A whole bunch of Bayesian artists. You know, we're doing it for the Caribbean. We're doing it for not only Barbados. We're doing it for the whole Caribbean, y'all. So, back to Phantom. What's upcoming for you, man? Well, actually, just dropped Bayesian Man 2 video. That's only Lame and Rhythm. As you know, that tune picking up. Right, heavy. right. Um, I actually got Getting Gear for Miami Carnival. And right. then we got Trinidad Carnival. Okay. Because I actually go to Trinidad for that whole period. I don't just fly down for a couple of shows. I like to go down and embrace the whole carnival because then my crop over material is be way sweeter because I just experienced something. Right. Like prior to this year, it was more on to dance hall during the year. And then when it comes to crop over, it would be the soccer. Obviously, because if you make your bread from dance hall and reggae mm -hmm. then, and soccer seasonal to a point. Right now, this year, soccer hasn't been seasonal. Because right. they haven't been getting time to do dance on a reggae. It's been so cut. True. Which True. means that it pick up. And if it pick up, I run it with it. <laughs> so uh, basically, I got a couple other videos to shoot. I think we do um Beige Man video already. So we do come over at the beginning of that. So it's just no couple of songs that I'm working on for Carnival. I got a little tune there with Lyrical. So hopefully, they got Monster Peace. Okay. We in dismantle when the time comes for Trinidad Carnival. Big up Slot and the whole team working. Right. Macaulay and we slim rhythm coming. So I mean, it's a it's a whole heap of things we got in the process. Right. I actually looking to get more diversified into the producer side of it. But okay, so I see you working with a lot of artists now, man. So if you had a chance to work with any artist, who mm. would that artist be? I, it anyone. Be a genre? Anyone. Oh. Anyone. Honestly, it will have to be Fifty Cent. A Fifty Cent fan. Because coming up. When I used to be in the street selling my music, and I think that was that was one of the main motivators of my music. And it don't matter how relevant he is. It don't matter if the collaboration happened when I was 50 years old. It can happen. 
And that's for my person being because of the respect I had for the drive and the amount of inspiration that he was able to give off before even knowing me. Right. You know what I mean? So honestly, that's that's a feature I will hold. And it, and it don't matter about the genre I in, but that is one for sure. All right, that's what I'm talking about. Let's go on to Marsville. Marsville, what's up, man? What you got upcoming? Well, I have a few shows there. I have Canada to come. I have Houston to come. I have Miami to come. I have St. Lucia to come, Guyana, and the list goes on. Yeah. But we have some music videos there. We have Jackie Down Things Out. And we have a video with a Jamaican dance hall artist. Oh, wow. Charlie, big up to Ricky Blaze. Big mm -hmm. up to DJ Spider also and Super Lynx. Right. Yeah, but we have a quite work going on. Now, still, we preparing for Carnival. Oh yeah, yo, big up to DJ Spider, man. I know Spider for years, man. And now he's producing. It's it's amazing. It's amazing to see like, you know, as a Caribbean person, as a Caribbean DJ, you know, to see you transition from a DJ to a producer to just elevating yourself. Because, yeah. you know, living is all about elevation. And if you're not elevating, you're not living. That's you know true. what I mean? So big up Spider because I see what he's doing right now mm -hmm. for him and for Barbados and worldwide. He's doing a good thing. So big up to DJ Spider. So the same question I asked Phantom. If you had any opportunity to work with any artist right now, who would you work with? Well, it's only obvious I'm in Brooklyn. I've got to go with Jay-Z. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that makes a lot of sense, man. Holla. <laughs> so, y'all artists who are watching right now, you know what I mean? If you want to work with a Caribbean artist, here we go. We're right here. So, let's go into Hyper Sounds. Hyper Sounds, what's up? What you got upcoming? What's going on, man? Um, well, right now, it's my 10-year anniversary, so I'm on the Hyper Sounds X store. Wow. Uh, we're just into season season two right now. But um, upcoming, I mean, I'm still doing the same thing. I'm still trying to brand myself out there, you know, so that I could... Um, Branch off and do some work elsewhere, fuse your music some more. But right now, it's just about branding. All right, yeah. okay, cool. That's what's up, man. So if you had any opportunity to work, any artist, who would you choose? Um, I would say Nicki Minaj. Nicki. Uh, Nicki. Reason why, as the quiet dude that everybody see hyper sounds, mm. in recording, I'm a character. Right. And on stage, I could change up a little bit. Right. And you know what? Nicki is kind of like that. Same she person. always So she would definitely want the artist that I would love to work with. It, so... You know, Nick. What's up, man? Yeah. Yo, for real, if y'all see Hyper Sounds regularly, like he's just so calm and collective, <laughs> and you know, but when he's on stage, is what on and gonna there, man? Rock. Like it's it's a different, different, energy, different, different man. energy. You, you know, know what I'm saying? Yeah, <laughs> same thing. And I just want to thank you guys for coming out to different Sundays, man. I appreciate the love. Thank you, Hyper Sounds. Yes, man. Thanks a lot. Thank you, Marsville, and thank you, Phantom. I appreciate it. It's another edition of Different Sundays. You know, each and every Sunday, 8 to 9 p.m. Hot 97. Let's go!